This video is particularly for the grade 12 CAT and IT students and I want to show you a way that can analyze your exam results in order for you to make better decisions about what you need to revise and what you need to study for your finals. In order to do this I've created an exam analysis document which is designed to help you. So let's go look at this document. So this is what it looks like. This is the tab for CAT and there is a tab for IT students and you can see they pretty much work the same. So let's just look at the CAT one particularly. So what I want you to do, if you've just written your May or June exams, I want you to go ask your teacher if you can have two things. I want you to have the breakdown of each question that you got. Not 1.1, but the whole of question one. What you got for each question. So what you got for the word question, each of them were the two Excel questions and so on. And I want you to get the totals for those questions. So that's what you need to get from your teacher. If you can get the actual exam paper, then you can get the totals from that. And so what you're going to do, as it says, they enter the totals for the question here. That's where you're going to write what the total is for that question one. So question one was out of 27. Question two was out of 13. I've just put some dummy results in here. You must put in the actual ones that you did for your exam. Just take note though, if you, for example, you only had one word question and then you had an Excel question, then I would set that to zero and then adapt all the values. If your exam paper did the question in different orders, then go find that, but the words, then try to keep to this particular order. So do the word one first, the Excel, the access, the HTML. But I want you to go fill in the totals you got for each of those questions. Then I want you to get the total you got for that particular question. So in that word question, what did you get out of 27? Let's say you got 10 for that one, you got 10 for that one, you got 10 for that one. So I did 10 across the board. So here is where you put your actual marks. Again, if there was a question that you left out, then leave that as zero. Those are going to be the totals you got for those particular questions. And then you're going to do the exact same thing for your theory. So fill in the totals for each of those questions. Again, take note, if your exam didn't have any of those sections, then put a zero. And if yours are in different order, make sure that you put the values according to this order. And then what you'll notice over here is it'll tell you what your average is for your exam paper. And here's where the value is. It's going to tell you which questions were above your average and which were below your average. So the ones in red will tell you those are the ones where you struggled and the ones in green are the ones where you did better in than that average based on that value. So you want to really look at the red ones and then see what they are and go, okay, I need to work on my Excel and my access based on these results. And the same you can do for your theory. You can see which which sections once you put your results in see which ones are red and they will tell you which ones you must focus on so that's what you're going to do now after these exams and that's going to help you prepare for your trial but then after trials I want you to come back to this document and then you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to put the totals for the exam paper over there for those particular questions it should be in that order and then I want you to put the totals that you got for those so let's say you got 15 for that question and that one you got 10 still and then that one you got 15 and so on and so I've just put some random values and that's where you're going to put in the values that you actually got for those particular questions. So now there's two sets of information to look at. First of all, we can look over here and that's going to tell us which questions we got above our average. So our Excel and our general questions were the ones we did well in. Our access, HTML and Word were the ones were below the average. Those were the ones that were bringing us down. So that's the first bit of information that we've got, very similar to what we had in June. But then we've got this over here and this is going to tell us how we did in the Word compared to the June exam. So over here you'll see we've improved by 13% in the Word. Here we've improved our Excel by 34%. Here we've gone down in our HTML. So here you can also see your progress if you are actually improving. So here you can see which sections you must focus on. But yeah, it's also telling you if you are making progress and how much progress you've made. And so hopefully that will motivate you to do that. And you'll do the same thing here for your theory exam. This tells you how much you've improved in based off of the trials compared to your June exam. So you've gone up by 18% from June based on this trial exam. And then over here it just tells you where your results are. So you've got a three level and a five level for your two exams. Ideally you wanting to get as many of them up as high as possible. And if you do that to the IT one, it's literally exactly the same. You can just follow the same steps, put in the totals for the questions there, put in what you actually got, and everything is exactly the same. So you can do that for the IT tab if you're an IT student. So in order to get this exam analysis 
document you need to download it you just need to go to tinyurl.com slash mr long exam analysis you can get it from there it's going to open it up in a google drive and all you need to do to access it you can't edit the one on google drive so you're going to have to download your own version because you want to put your own values in correct so you're going to go to that file at the top there you're going to go down to download and then you go pick the option that you want i would strongly suggest that you get the excel version and when you do that you'll notice in your downloads you should have my exam analysis document that you can use to go and figure out which sections you need to focus on for your final exams and by doing this hopefully you can improve your marks for both your trials and final exams that are coming up good luck grade 12s to make sure you don't miss out on other resources like this as well as other exam papers that can help you prepare for your exams make sure you click on that subscribe button also follow our youtube channel at mr long computer terms for the theory and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way